Welcome back everyone. We've got a couple days up here at the off-grid cabin. Probably do a couple chores. We'll mostly just relax and enjoy the property. It's always the moment of truth. Well, there's no bears in here. And it looks like all the property's here, so that's a good sign. So as you can see where I left off last time, I was one board short because I screwed up the cut. So we're going to go ahead and finish this board up, put the extra light up for sure this trip. Do a little bit of cleanup in here. I think I may end up putting these boards up. Um, one of the subscribers mentioned that they're going to bow over time. And I think that he's exactly right. The, the first little cabin shack I built, uh, I used that T111 siding and that did bow over time. So. I think just because lumber is so expensive and because I've already purchased and paid for these panels, I will probably put them up with the intent um, that they are temporary and eventually I will do something more permanent. But I kind of want to cover up the insulation and I want them out of the way mostly. The other big project I have that I've talked about the last couple videos are these logs, these popple logs. Well, it's time to turn this trash into treasure. With the price of lumber, it definitely is worth it to chainsaw these up with my chainsaw mill. Um, some of them were pretty punky, but I think some of them are, are gonna be just fine. So I'm not sure what I'll use the wood for, but I have a couple projects that I'd like to do. Uh, one of the things is to build a bathhouse, both a temporary bathhouse and a permanent bathhouse with a sauna. Um, and I thought maybe I could use some of those for that. Um, also, we still have to put the deck on with the porch. That's waiting for us too. And I think I have enough treated two by sixes from before that I think if I want to um, start that project, I, I can probably do that. But, but as always, there's a million things to do and I only have about a day and a half up here and then I have to go back for a family obligation. Um, but, Time to unpack. The van is full of my son Hunter's uh, furniture from college and we're gonna move him back up to his his secondary college in the next couple weeks. So I didn't wanna unpack everything and then have to pack it back up. So we've got the other truck and it's pretty packed full. Something I picked up from the big box store, the big orange one. It's a cordless vacuum, shop vac. And I'm not gonna lie, it's not the most powerful thing I've ever used, but I thought for cleaning up inside the cabin, um, just to get the dust off of the, the window sills and some of the cracks and crevices, I thought I'd give it a shot. So we'll see how this works. It's so dusty. That's where the vacuum is gonna come in. Get all that fine dust up. But first, we got to get the board in here for the bed. The reason I'm going to use this pallet is because it is the size of a queen bed, and I wanted to, or a full bed, something like that. So I wanted to see just how much room it would take up in here. But it's just rough wood, and I don't want the rough wood on the floor scratching everything up. So. Back to the cardboard. Well, one thing's for sure is I don't need any heat on. Whew, it's warm in here. It is hot, hot, hot in here. That's how much space a queen bed would take up. So 
I don't think I'm doing a queen. I think I'm doing a full or a twin or whatever the medium size is. Well, that's never a good sign, eh? Well, that's not a good sign. That's the second battery I've tried. It's a lot of dirt. It's been tracked in. A lot of dirt. little bleach to clean things up a little bit. A bleach based cleaner anyway, it's not pure bleach. Look at that. Ugh. Eventually I will have a new table, but for the time being this was free. Picked it up off the side of the road. My neighbors were throwing it out. And it's served me well so far. It's been worth the price at least. Well, we must well get that insulation put up and get that taped up and get that board put up. And 43 for the light. You see that? You see that? Ah! For all you people that say don't kill spiders, they're God's creatures, or they're good for the environment. I suggest you just scroll through this next part. I don't want to talk about what just happened. Let's just focus on the light. See, that's, they just jump out at you. This is ridiculous. Freaking hate spiders. You know, if they just casually walked out and being like, hey, here I am, I'd be like, fine, scooch. But nope, they gotta like jump out at you, like surprise you. I need less surprises in my life. Oh, Not more. Crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times. See the moon side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for. All right, right, the moment of truth. What? Okay, the one in the back isn't supposed to work, so that's a different switch. Why is this one not working? Oh, got it. All right, back to the drawing board. Try number two. Ta-da! And like I said, the third one back there is on a different circuit, on a different light switch, so. When I had screwed in the base, I had pulled one of the wires out, so. That project is officially finished. Well, time definitely got away from me. I went and walked the property and it started getting dark and I figured I'd get back here and get cooking before, before it was completely dark and of course it's completely dark. So tonight I have these thin cut ribeyes and I'm going to fry up some onion, put these ribeyes on the grill and then I'm going to uh, 
put them on a hot dog bun with some pepper jack cheese melted over the onions and the meat and make kind of a quasi filly, so to speak. So we'll see if that works. Time to get the bonfire going for the night. I wasn't sure if I was even going to have a fire tonight. Just because it's so dry up here. But the wind completely went down, so I feel pretty, pretty good about it at this point. Well, the onions look about done, so we're going to throw some pepper jack cheese on them. Gonna melt that down. We're going to toast up some hot dog buns and throw the ribeyes on because ribeyes will only take a couple minutes probably, as thin as they are. Take off the heat. Toast the buns up. I think we're ready. I think these little ribeyes are done. Well, this looks pretty good. Little Philly cheesesteak. The only thing we're missing is some green pepper. Some bell pepper. First things first, we gotta give thanks. Let's eat. Not too shabby, but we need some green pepper. We should put some bell pepper in this. All right, catch you guys later. Good morning. This morning I'm going to start working on replacing some of the insulation in that upper wall just so that'll be ready for the boards to go up. When I was running my wire originally, I didn't take into account that I wanted an outside leg. Um, so I need to run some wires quick before I finally seal up this insulation for the last time. For those of you who have been with the channel for a while, you remember that I had an issue with some mold while the lumber was drying. And so as I go through this, I'm just trimming out any pieces that were affected by the, the damp boards. You can, you can see on this piece of insulation where the damp boards were uh, ended up developing patches of, of black mold on there. So I'm cutting any bad parts out. But most of it's good, it's just where a couple of the 2x4s were still damp from, from being cut and not dried enough before they built the building. Making some lunch quick, taking a little break, kind of a repeat from last night. Except instead of hot dog buns, we're just going to throw them on some tortillas. I was going to make scrambled eggs with these this morning. Kind of make a breakfast burrito thing, but I didn't have enough motivation. So I did go into town and I got a couple more boards uh, for the back wall. Uh, $22 a piece plus tax so yeah but hopefully uh, that will get me up high enough on that peak where I can use some of the eight footers uh, that I've had previously 
And I don't know if I'll finish that up um, just because I'm just kind of messing with it right now. I don't intend to finish that project today, but it's getting so nice out that I'm tempted to do something outside. Can't wait one more year then I can retire and be up here as much as I want. But I got a lot of work to do before then, that's for sure. Well, I haven't shot a lot of video today. Uh, I was working inside the cabin and it gets to be kind of the same thing over and over, so I didn't think you guys really cared to see it. But uh, I've been working on the tongue and groove on that back wall and I actually went for a run. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any running and to be honest, I'm getting so fat and out of shape that I decided I probably should do that after all. So anyway, so I went for a quick run out in the trails and now I thought maybe I'd look around and see if I could find any mushrooms or any sort of spring wild edibles. Well, I'm pretty sure this is Squatch evidence. It does look kind of squatchy around here, doesn't it? I'm just teasing you guys. It's wolf. Did you know that Minnesota has the highest number of, of wolves in the lower 48 states? It's a fact. I know it because I heard it on NPR this morning. I don't know. I'm going with the squatch theory. The wind is picking up and it's starting to rain a little bit, so I'm gonna head back to the car. So there's this small lake, and I think I hiked in about a mile or so. And there's a campsite on that island. And it looks like somebody's out there. I can actually see a, a tent, and then there's a canoe underneath that leaning birch tree. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I just walked out here, and there's a, some loons were swimming around out there. And, there's just always places to explore. All right, well, I'm gonna get cracking before I get doused on. Catch you guys back at the cabin. All right, let's see if my little gapper is gonna work. So one thing I am going to do is I, my hands were dirty and I got dirt all over the board so I think I'm going to scrub them down quick and then we're going to call this back wall done. Get the scaffold out of here, move it down towards the door, start working on some other projects. It's gotten a little cool outside, it's about 55 degrees and a little bit of rain. So I thought maybe I'd make a little fire just to kind of take the chill off in the cabin and Kind of nice to have a warm, dry place to go. Well, time to feed the deer. I'm sure they've been waiting for me. And we should probably pull the game cam cards too. See if there's anything interesting on there. Make sure they're working. Ravens have been squawking at me. You know, they're pretty smart birds. Whenever they see my truck or whenever they see that I'm here, they always start looking around for treats. And corn is one of the things they really like. At least they hit my corn pile pretty hard. Frogs are so loud today. Looks like my blueberry plants made it through the winter. So I'm pretty happy about that. And as well, my raspberries are already doing really well. So these ones will produce berries this year. So hopefully they send up some shoots. 
Looks like they've got one going over there. That'll be berries for next year. But hoping for a bunch more. Well, what do you guys think I should plant in this one? Now I know a lot of this is going to fall into the gaps and I know that I'm going to have to put a lot more dirt in here. Um, but I just had a little bit left over from transplanting some raspberry bushes and instead of just throwing it on the ground I thought I'd put it in here but I obviously want the dirt towards the top not the bottom that's why I had to do this project. I wasn't really prepared for it but There's another raspberry bush in there. Maybe we'll just get him started and dig him up next time we come up. All right, well, I pretty much packed up. Um, like I said, this was just a real quick trip up, more just to kind of check on things uh, than anything. But I did get that, but I did get the ceiling finished and I got the uh, back wall done. I still have to put the trim boards in the corners, obviously, and I might have to put one more piece up in that very peak. We'll see. Um, I'm really, really struggling with what to do with that beadboard paneling versus tongue and groove. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to have to make a decision sooner or later. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. But anyway, next time I come up, hopefully uh, I can do some fishing. It'll be past fishing opener so we can keep some fish. Maybe we can do a fish fry. Um, and there's always chores to do. Of course, I got no wood cutting done because it rained pretty much all afternoon and evening yesterday. Uh, so that pretty much killed a lot of time for productivity. But all right, well, I'm going to hit the road. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you. For those of you who have become a, a real part of the channel and leave me comments and, and share your journey with me, I really appreciate that. Um, that's really what makes this fun. Um, is kind of us doing it together and, and hearing your stories and, and what you're doing with your off-grid projects as well. It's, it's pretty interesting and it's kind of exciting. And we'll see you on the next video. We'll see you soon. Hey everybody, well, I'm back at the River House and as you saw in the earlier part of the video, I tried to use this uh, Ryobi cordless vacuum in the shack and I couldn't get a start. And I was really kind of upset because it's it's like brand new. So I unloaded it from the truck when I got home. And I looked at it one more time. And I, I just happened to, uh, went to set, I took the cover off. And when I went to set the cover down, 
I tapped the cover on the ground and it started. So then I thought, well, maybe there's a, something loose, a loose cord in there that's not making the connection. So I kind of bounced it up and down on the floor, thinking I could maybe shake something loose, and it would intermittently go on and off as I bounced it on the floor. Well, then I pushed it all the way down to the floor, and it continued to run. So I think the problem is there must be a pressure sensor inside there that there has to be tension uh, otherwise it won't run. So I think what maybe happened was maybe my filter was off kilter, filter was off kilter, or uh, maybe it wasn't latched down completely. But now, yeah, oh, now it's not working again. Gosh, got it. So here's the weird part, right? So right now it doesn't, when I turn it on and off, it doesn't work. But watch this. So I turn it on, nothing, I push down. And it works. So I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. I'm actually maybe gonna have to read the directions. Now it works. So definitely there's something in there that has to put pressure on it. Well, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, I just wanted to put this little segment in so that you knew it wasn't a complete failure and maybe there's something more about it I don't know I'm gonna have to look into.